Hi there, Paul Dombowski from Liberty Street Software. In this video we're going to cover uh, file cards and what a file card is is if you let's say for example you want to look at um, individual details for these four stamps. Now if you right mouse click and select collection report using uh, you notice that near the bottom here you'll see item detail one per page and that's basically a file card so uh, as the name implies, you get the information for one stamp on each page of your output. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. Preview. And you see here, for each stamp that you've selected, you're going to get an individual page for that. And that's pretty handy um, in some situations. Now, let's say you want to change what's on the file card. Uh, what you can do is select Reports, down at the bottom here, Edit File Cards. Now, this one here, item detail old .crd. All file cards have the extension .crd. This one here uh, corresponds to the item detail that we just displayed. And as you can see here, you can go ahead and change uh, there's a whole bunch of fields. Uh, let's say there's something you don't want or something you want you, you want to rearrange the order of the fields. Now you could change them and save it, and then that will be what you see when you select item detail, or you could save it under a different name. So let's go ahead and uh, save it under a different name. Let's call it Road Detail New. Click Save. And let's say we don't need this one here. Asking price. We can just delete that. And we perhaps we want to move Scott number up to the top, make it more prominent. Just there you go. Can do it that way. Now if you double click on any of these, you can see uh, how it outputs the data. You can change the font. for So so basically it's going to show the text Scott number, and then it's going to take the Scott number of the stamp and add that on to the string as well and display that. Now if we wanted to make this bold, you can do that. Hit OK. And let's save it. Exit the report designer. Now we can select output file cards using selected items. And we're going to choose the one we just selected. Just changed. Hit preview again. And you see here the Scott number is now bolded and the asking price has been removed. So that's a brief overview of file cards. And uh, while I have time, uh, let me show you a couple other things with reports. Um, how to custom ask, how to add a title to a report, uh, the company name, for example, if you're running a small time stamp, uh, you're selling stamps uh, part time or even full time, you want to add your company name or personal name to the top of the report. What you can do is you select Data Report, take the name of the report, Stamp Standard, and the way to add your name to a report is right at the top here. What you can do is reduce the size of the state manager report title, which shows basically what is being output. For example, which uh, country and category uh, is being output in the report. And if we want to add our own name, we, what we do is click on Insert Text. Then it's going to request us to uh, specify the parameters, the or the width and height of the text. Now, if we just want to put in a name, we can put in put in Liberty Street Software. Hit OK, and that's going to appear on the top of er of the every report. So, I'm sorry, of this particular report. So, if we want to change the font and make it more prominent, we can again make it bold, make it a little bit bigger. You see here that it's reflected in the uh, preview. So. Yes. Say possible changes. And here, output report using, collection report using. And I believe it's this one right here, yeah. Uh, yeah, so as you can see here at the top, they actually tried a new output format, it's presentation, which is uh, um, it basically uh, sh shows a 
it's like a PowerPoint output if you wanted to show it to other people on a big screen. Anyways, as you can see here, the Liberty Street software has been added to the top, and here it shows what's in the report, which is the contents of my collection. So anyway, uh, that's it for now. Take care.